So with the I.O. information operation, I'm sure a lot of people have questions. What is it used for? Uh, how does it work? So today we have an academic in the line with us to answer all these questions. We have the Associate Professor Papai Pit Mutita Jaron, the Acting Dean of Journalism and Mass Communication Faculty at Thammasa University. Good evening. Good evening. First yeah. of all, I have to ask you what exactly is information operation as internationally definition for it? Well, actually, um, oh, I'm sorry that the sound was so echo. Uh, do you still hear me? Yes, yes, we can still hear you. Okay. Um, well, well, by definition of information operation, it is um, now really popular here in, in our society. Well, actually, it's, it's uh, by definition, by system, it's really, uh, you know, tell itself how, how the function is. It's actually happened in the past. Um, when we talk about I.O. or information operation, we, we need to look back into the well, long time ago, like Cold War or the war between Soviet Union and uh, the U.S. Uh, America. Uh, they actually use information, you know, apart from using weapon and all that, uh, we, we also, they also use information to attack, you know, kind of um, in terms of war to attack the enemy. And also, uh, basically, the information operation actually means that uh, the government at that time, they, they kind of use it as a, as you know, manage the information to influence people or their target audience to to follow or you know act as they want to you know to to the how how uh, to to influence people and um, persuade them to act the way they wanted them to 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 do. So uh, this is basically the, the the how information operation you know. Uh, kind of um, function, and um, when we talk about in the past, um, I like to talk about how the government use information operation now as well. I mean, when we talk about the situation from the past and in the current situation, we have to see that there's a difference between uh, uh, in terms of function because uh, in the past after the Cold War, and then we 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 talking about how the government, um, we talk about the new technology that, you know, the coming of new technology before that. We, the government um, in, you know, all over the world, we govern the people by uh, actually con can control the, the traditional media uh, in terms of, um, you know, their content and their agenda setting, all that. So um, in the past, it's so easy for the government to kind of um, control the message and channels. However, when we move on to the present society, we can see that the news media, uh, the social media plays a vital role in terms of um, you know, spreading all information. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's so difficult for, for, for in terms of the government or the, the state governor, you know, uh, to 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 kind of control the information, right. like in the past, yes. So can we say that I O is actually another version of uh, P R or public relation unit, that kind of thing? But are they supposed to be in disguise? Uh huh. Well, in a way, but um, actually at present, I think it's it's not a P R. Actually, I'm in a field of P R, public relations, but. These days, public relations, you know, can change its meaning and perception because we are now talking about the real, the real action. We believe um, we cannot, you know, create image or influence people by just using PR. But, but, um, well, as you perceived in the past, like um, we try to, you know, present the, the image just as a subject but not by action. But right now, the, the rise of social media and news media, I think um, it's really uprising the perception of public relations uh, in a way that action really matters. And actions really 
create an image and also uh, action is a communication as well. So uh, from, from, from what your question, I, I can say that um, actually to, for the state government or the, for government in every country right now is kind of uh, challenging for, uh, is a challenging challenge I mean, in terms of uh, putting out information right. and using the same techniques for, for the people and audience uh, in terms of using new media because a lot of people is kind of, um, is not a passive audience anymore. They kind of um, play a role in terms of active and they're capable of checking news and uh, have a media literacy. So this is kind of hard com comparing to in the past. Yes. So why do governments have to be put a lot of emphasis on the I.O.? Uh, I think in a very sensitive situation, every government in the world, they try to control and they try to, you know, sending out a message. But in a very sensitive situation, there's always uh, two kind of um, sides and very extreme. So this is probably the, that I would think this is the best strategy for them that they can think of. But it's not easy anymore in the world of, of new media and social media right now. It's not, it's not like um, when you have just a free TV like in the past. So, there, yes. there was a civil lawsuit today filed earlier by an, an, uh, two activists to the, uh, sue the government that they use I.O. to defame the activists. Do you know such kind of lawsuit or case in other countries? Is it possible that uh, people will just sue five lawsuits against I.O.? Actually, I try to file, but I'm not sure whether I cannot file and, and that, if, it, if, if that means they exist or they not exist, probably uh, we consciously uh, or can unconsciously you know know ours you know know right. it or don't know it so it's hard to tell but in another word so, they're supposed to be in disguise that's why we don't really hear much about i or from other countries i suppose i guess so probably <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, um, Dr. Prapai, uh, uh, Professor Prapai Prapai Pit. Pit. Yes. Prapai thank, thank, thank you very you much for problem. your time today. No problem. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Good evening. And I hope that's helped answer some questions about information operation. And like I said, in a lot of countries, it's supposed to be in disguise, but somehow in Thailand, people discover some of them. Or earlier, there was an announcement by Facebook that they had suspended some accounts that they believe linked to this kind of operation.